it's your boy the fourth Ken and today I'm gonna be showing you guys my curly hair routine as you can see my hair is kind of messed up I was outside sweating plus it's really greasy it needs to be washed so today I'm just gonna be showing you guys what I do to get my hair like very coily so this is a disclaimer I don't finger coil my hair all I do is shampoo conditioner and then brush it get out and let it air dry and then it's just gonna be elite my curls are usually long and luscious, so excuse how they're looking right now. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, I thought you had straight hair. I thought you said you had straight hair. I do when it's short. I said that many times, my hair when it's short is straight. Once it reaches its curl length, it starts getting wavy, and then it becomes curly, just like this. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing I like to do is pick out my hair or comb it out when it's dry, just to really relax my hair strands and get it all to its true length before the shrinkage so yeah i'm just picking it out with a plastic comb and if it pulls your hair that's okay because you know your hair is going to get pulled when you brush it in the shower anyway so you want to just prepare it right now i'm just preparing it to be washed i recommend washing your hair twice a week and conditioning it i guess whenever you shower i mean i know some people that do it differently i don't condition it every time i shower I usually condition it like four or five times a week. So once that's complete, you're gonna wanna go hop in the shower. But let me go show you guys my products. So this is the main thing you're gonna wanna use, um, the shampoo and conditioner. Um, so if you read the instructions, it says it repairs, mends, dry, and damaged hair. Now my hair is typically dry with no product in it. So I tend to use a lot of this conditioner and leave a little bit in it. So you're gonna see how I do it. You wanna scrub it in at first. But once the uh, conditioner is in your scalp, you're gonna wanna let it sit to really get it into your roots and get it into your hair strands so that your hair can be nice and healthy and long and luscious curls. So I'm gonna show you guys what I mean right here. Basically, this is my hair right after I'm done shampooing and conditioning. I know a lot of people take like a t-shirt or a towel and dry it. I recommend going in the sun and dry naturally. Uh, air drying is the best way because it really will show your true curl pattern. You dry with a towel, you know, it takes away moisture, leaves light in your hair. Like, so this is basically what I do. Now it's time to get dressed and go in the sun. What's good YouTube? I got my laptop. So right now I'm chilling on the roof. So I'm gonna let you guys see the process of my hair actually drying. So y'all can't be like, oh, you finger coiling. Nah, I don't do none of that. So just watch. I'm gonna time lapse it. Y'all gonna watch my hair dry.
Now what this does, it don't get a tight hair bun tie, get a relaxed one. This is like a relaxed hair bun tie. So that you notice this part, the hair elasticity, you aren't stretching it. You're more so tugging it a little bit. You're not pulling it to where it, then the curl's gonna be a little straighter. So then it'll take longer for it to curl up. You're just relaxing it, just setting it up. This is like setting up the structure for how your hair is gonna be for the rest of the day. And once it's all ready, you can go ahead and release it. YouTube. So these are the final results. As you can see, my hair ain't even curly. It's coily. Like it curls so much that it just wraps around and then it makes like a ball shape. But yeah, tomorrow is gonna be even better. Like these pieces in the front, usually these are the most curliest. I don't know why they're like weavy, but these pieces tomorrow morning are gonna be like the pieces on the side. But yeah, so once again, the products that you're gonna want to use are the Garnier honey conditioner and shampoo. Make sure you use a lot of the conditioner, the amount that I had, and leave just a little bit in. Shout out to Yari's Butterflies for putting me onto this routine. And um, yeah, this is the routine. It's a pretty flawless routine. You don't really got to use any curling Hansen or none of that mess. Like, it's just a nat just like a more natural hair growth journey routine. Um, for those of y'all wondering how long I've been growing my hair, um, here's a picture of when I scalped my hair. This was August, I forget the specific date, it'll be somewhere in the picture. So I've been growing my hair for about 11 months. Next month will make a year, I think towards the end of the month. So I will be making a one year hair growth journey. My hair is probably gonna be like an inch longer by then because my hair grows fast. Probably like a half inch, probably be like down here. Make sure you check out my last haircut tutorials. There was crazy transformations. That's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's the fourth pin and I'm out, peace.